This is just hilarious. The ABC want to be more like Spotify, Netflix, and YouTube. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so uh, let's get those uh, yeah, those playlists that we can have, those uh, ABC playlists where you can listen to Lydia Thorpe followed by Greta Thunberg, followed by... Well, you know, but it, <laughs> is, it, is, it is ridiculous, though, because when you look at the ABC's ratings, they are having, especially with a lot of their radio and news and current oh. affairs stuff, there are huge um, problems with all of that. People are tuning out. And here's the other you know thing, too, is that the way that they handle diversity things. We've spoken about this in the past. You know, they had run a very woke line and they say, oh no, we're going to, you know, protect Lydia Thorpe. But within the organization, you know, again, it's just the treatment of people is reportedly just horrendous. Well, if Stan Grant is to be believed, you, you're either on one side or the other. If he's to be believed, then that is not a workplace that celebrates diversity, that celebrates uh it certainly doesn't celebrate viewpoint diversity. We know that much. Yeah. I mean, half the country could not stomach anything that ABC News and Current Affairs produces because they're just relentlessly left-wing. They're activists. And if if this is how they want to go, if they want to go down the TikTok road with the billion-plus dollars they receive each year, good luck to them. Well, I also, you know, no, I think it's more important than that. I think... Maybe they should do exactly that. If they, you know, if you want to copy Spotify and you want to copy YouTube and you want to copy Netflix, well, these are subscription models. This is what the ABC should be doing. If we had a, a, yes, a sensible liberal smart. government in power, you would just say, we don't need to even sell you off. Just make it a subscription model well, and we'll Rowan, see how popular you really are. Rowan, there's more to that. I mean, if they want to go down the TikTok road, well, they're already halfway there because, you know, at the very top, their owners are communists. But... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, but, but just on the diversity thing, though, because I've spoken to people at the ABC, you know, this is how ridiculous it is inside. In the last decade, they had a diversity tracker program <laughs> where everybody who did an interview had to record the race and gender of everybody that they interviewed for a story so that it could go into this giant Excel spreadsheet. Uh, now, they were yeah. told, don't bother asking, just it's how they look on TV. Oh, whoa, so hang on. Is, oh, oh, oh this okay. Is what happened. Judging race by color. Yeah. A ABC, very, very, very bad stuff, very ABC. Naughty. Very uh, but the other thing on the serious note on this is that. Uh, they're centralising all the regional. Now, the ABC, if they do have one function, has been repeatedly argued, it's to be uh, a regional voice. So to have um, uh, to have stations and reporters in, in, out in the country where uh, where most networks can't afford to have that sort of infrastructure. So that's the one reason, the one justification people have always put up for the ABC is that, oh, it gives us the country folk. It gives us all the regional remote areas and their news stories. Well, no, no longer... Lefties, that's all gone. So they've merged the whole thing into a centralised. So now your, uh, you know, your West Australian, your your Broome report, your uh, Broken Hill report, or whatever, all these different things are now going to be centralised in Sydney. I wonder what could possibly go wrong with the latte sipping, purple haired, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, diversity uh, intern there putting together well, all, well, all the regional, you know, agricultural news. Well, it gets, it gets back. It gets back though to this whole issue that started this whole thing off. You know. Again, the reporting on the ABC infuriated the ABC. I broke a story in the Daily Telegraph some months ago that, and I had the internal documents, that the regional stuff was going to be gutted. And, um, How and did the ABC react to that? They, they, again, <laughs> they did the exact same thing that they did here with this story by Nick Tabakoff. They put up the whole thundering denunciation. Morrow has got it wrong. Well, no, I didn't get it wrong. You know, we knew what you were up to. And, you know, you keep getting it wrong. And we'd like an apology. Thank you. Hank, Rita, I think James has just joined the club. The Outsiders Club, where the lefties attack you for being wrong, and a year later, you're proven to be right. <laughs> Welcome aboard, James. Hey. Good man. Hey. Fantastic. Good stuff. Um, but uh, it is serious about the regional thing, and, and people in the regions are rightly extremely disheartened. ABC, I've always said the ABC should be dismantled by uh, a Liberal government or whatever, but I think the ABC are busy dismantling themselves, so let them but carry you know on what? doing You're it. right. If they do actually have a subscription model, that could be the beneficiaries of $2 billion, $3 billion a year. If the demand is there, if the punters out there want it and they pay for it, exactly. so we that can have could our... grow to be even bigger.